Do you see eight thoughts on Tommy's podcast? No. I don't give a what what a uh, a bald uh, forty year old who's still living in the uh, I threw four touchdowns in uh, one high school football game has to say. the The reality is, <clears throat> right now, <clears throat> you've got eight thoughts low IQ viewers here. You've got Ethan's fans, which I understand why they want to be I, I respect that. Eight thoughts fans are just retards. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing, guys? And drifters, welcome to the video. I'm Eight Thoughts. Appreciate you dropping on by. Hope you're doing all fantastic. And man, Big Daddy Eight Thoughts has been gone for a week. The drama, I was banned off YouTube. And man, oh man, in this video, we're going to jump into it. There's been a lot of drama going on. The drama alert. Keemstar's in it. The quartering. Me getting a strike on my channel for cyberbullying and harassment. Going on the Ralph Retort kill stream and then the quarter and backing out because he's a giant <laughs> and then going on tommy c's podcast i was banned for twitter for a week bingo bongo eating chimichangos let's get into all this and what happened and some of the lies and some of the truths shall be exposed in this video all right, so how should we start this off? Let's just give you the rundown real quick, the cliff notes, as they would call it, to the situation. So about a week or so ago, I uploaded a video dunking on the quartering with a video titled, The Quartering is a Beta Male and His Content Sucks. In the video, I roasted him, teased him, made fun of him, called him a sweaty looking dirty hobo alcoholic, talked about how his content sucks and how he drags his videos out for 15 minutes on a topic that could be covered in about 30 seconds, how he speaks so slowly and pauses like this and blinks like he is suffering an aneurysm during his videos. And some way, somehow, that video, out of all the videos I've done, dunking on and roasting a lot of YouTubers over the years, got flagged, surprisingly, and was taken down and struck down by YouTube for cyberbullying and <laughs> harassment. That's right. I mean, come on, man. That's that's what we're getting to in 2020, huh? Cancel culture. Take Let's take a video down from a dude who suffers from cancer, whose main source of income and only source of income is making YouTube videos, but let's, uh, let's decide to strike that video down because someone got offended or feelings were hurt about jokes from a grown man to another grown man. When did sticks and stones made break my bones stop being relevant? Isn't that what you teach children, for God's sake? That's what you teach toddlers. He called me an idiot. Don't worry about him. He's a dick. <laughs> I was offended. I don't care. <laughs> nothing happens when you're offended. There's nothing. I, I went to the comedy show, and, and the comedian said something about the Lord, and, and I was offended. And when I woke up in the morning, I had leprosy. <laughs> I want to live in a democracy, but I never want to be offended again. <laughs> You're an idiot. And then after that video was struck down, I uploaded a video to my second channel saying the quartering strikes eight thoughts channel down. And I put a banner up on my YouTube channel with a funny looking picture of the quartering and a screenshot of the strike with the caption, the quartering strikes eight thoughts down. And then the quartering just started going crazy. And what's really weird though, first of all, before I get ahead of myself, is after I made the video dunking on the quartering, I didn't hear anything from him, I didn't see anything from him, nothing was tweeted at me, nothing was mentioned, which is very strange because the quartering for a guy that likes to, you know, call out SJWs and outrage culture and, and all the media and all the, you know, people who are full-fledged, I guess, red-haired, blue-haired, purple-haired kind of people and how they freak out, he likes to call them out and call them, you know, betas and stuff like that. 
for a guy who fronts as a person who isn't that kind of person, he sure reacts super, super crazy on Twitter and gets so angry and gets so triggered. Even though he says he doesn't care, he gets freaked out and he replies back and subtweets you and gets very soy boy over a lot of things that really are just jokes. But a video where I completely call him out and dunk on him with two hands and balls all in his face, he completely just sort of sidetracked that, didn't pay any attention to it, and didn't, you know, even comment about it. But somehow that video got flagged down. So in my mind, I thought that was kind of strange that a dude that is overly sensitive on Twitter just totally ignores an entire video calling him out. And then subsequently that video got struck down. So in my mind, I'm thinking like, huh, he's trying to pretend like he didn't see it. It didn't bother him. And then when the video gets struck down, he can sort of play coy and be like, oh, whoa, what happened there? I have absolutely nothing to do with it. And in defense of the quartering, before we go on as well, he did show his entire flagging history with all of his little channels that he has and big channels that he has. And in those reports that you can check and see flagging reports, nothing showed up as far as flagging actually anything. So for that, then that's fine. But we'll get into a little bit more later on as to why that doesn't necessarily, I would say, exonerate him. But continuing on with the actual timeline of the situation, so he sees my video and my YouTube header claiming he struck my channel down and proceeds to freak out and goes on a tirade on Twitter and then talks about how I'm hurting his brand and that, you know what, there's no proof, yet doesn't even watch the video. And in the video, I even say that I don't have any proof that he did strike it down. I'm just assuming he did, or at least he is complicit in striking it down. But, you know, he doesn't like the title because it implies that he did and my thumbnail banner on my YouTube channel. So to make him happy, I put a question mark on the video as to, you know, not imply, but to question if he did or not. And I took the thumbnail banner or whatever down from YouTube channel, but that was more just for a troll and a joke. But he was getting so bent out of shape, I figured like, you know what, this is getting out of hand. But don't worry, the soy gets so much thicker and deeper here, it's, it's pathetic. After I do all that, he's still going off on about it, talking about how I hurt his brand and ruining his brand and et cetera, et cetera, and his brand is so important. He starts to threaten lawsuits against me on Twitter, talking about how he's going to sue me and take everything I have and everything I own, and he's going to donate it all to the SPCA or some kind of fun, and he can't wait to run me over the coals. And he figured this was going to be a good reply. Like In his mind, he thought, yeah, this will get him, this will scare him, this is a good way to get eight thoughts. And, and I don't give a damn. Like, what, you're going to sue me? Like, yeah, okay, buddy, sue me for damages. Good luck with that. So he's threatening me on Twitter, which I'm banning, can't reply about suing me. And it turns worse for Jeremy, and it makes him look like an absolute idiot because what he thought would happen is other people would dogpile on me. But everyone started turning on Jeremy the Quartering. Everybody started tweeting at him, YouTubers talking about this is a low-energy soy boy move. What in the hell are you doing? You look like an idiot. You want to talk about someone hurting their brand because this guy makes a video on a second channel with 15,000 views accusing you of striking his video down. And your response is, I'm going to sue this guy. Like, you look like an idiot. Call it off. Quit. It, you're hurting yourself. And then Jeremy, the quartering, says to Ralph Retort, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Ralph Retort, you know, on D Live, he has the kill stream where Just Destiny and other people have debated, and Nerd City was on there, and Keemstar has been on there before, fighting the quartering and other YouTubers. So the quartering, which I have been on the kill stream before with, making fun of and roasting and talking about how much he sucks, says, Hey, Ralph, we got to set this up, man. I want to talk to Eight Thoughts. We're going to debate this. We're going to have a kill stream. Let's go on the Ralph Retort. And Ralph's like, Sure, we'll set up for tonight let's do this i'm like i'm down then after the quarter was getting dunked on and roasted by every other youtuber on twitter for threatening to sue me and he looks like an idiot now he just decides that i'm not going to do it now and i'm going to back out for legal reasons i don't want to do it and the word is on the street is that the reason why he backed out and his excuse he was trying to give us that he was worried about getting swatted or doxxed or, you know, just having people harassing him and whatnot now because he's going after me. And then he tweets out one of the most egregious tweets in the world. It's just even more callous and even more <laughs> insinuating and actually worse than someone like me saying that he struck a video down, which I'm assuming, I don't know for facts, but I was assuming. But this guy comes out here and tweets out that, hey, this guy's a terrible dude who runs in really bad circles, man. He's a known crew of doxers and swatters and just all kinds of like ridiculous 
ridiculous accusations, which are way worse than someone saying you struck a video down. Like you're actually like accusing someone of swatting, which is a federal offense and can land someone in jail without any proof, without any kind of evidence, basically being a huge hypocrite, getting mad at me for accusing him of taking a video down, which seems a little more likely considering the quarterings past of getting triggered over my tweets and then not talking about the video at all and also just magically disappears. So you know what? You can't come out here and start, you know, accusing someone like me. Like, yeah, guys, I'm a doctor and I'm a swatter and there's no evidence. No one's ever been swatted. There's one guy named Blue who harasses Drifter all the time that I know for being a goof that he is, but he's pretty much said he's given up on that. And I've told him in the past, I don't really, you know, get down with that. I'm not really into it. So could just, you know, just stop the doxing and harassing Drifter on his streams and things of that in nature. It's like I'm some kind of lizard squad out here DDoSing people and swatting and doxing people. But hey, let it be a warning though that there are people who do like me. And if you do mess with me, they order pizzas to your house and get black hookers showing up to your house at two o'clock in the morning. So, you know, just beware. Just letting you know. <laughs> joking, not joking. So he tries to make that excuse up that he's, you know, worried about that kind of stuff without actually mentioning it. But instead, the reality is he looks like an idiot. He threatened to sue me. People thought he was just an absolute soy boy now and is hurting his brand by his own actions, not by what I've said. So he backed out the Ralph retort, which I still went on and just basically roasted him and everybody in that stream, to be honest. I was just having a good time. And then Tommy C had me up on his podcast the next day, which was actually was a very good interview, really good job. So if you haven't seen that, go over and watch that. And that brings us to about a day or so ago where Keemstar now gets involved, which is amazing because Keemstar doesn't like me, which is understandable. I'm constantly trolling him and making fun of Keemstar. But Keemstar actually came to my defense and started calling out the quartering with all kinds of tweets and just going at him and roasting him and dunking on him as well. And that's when the quartering all of a sudden now made a video to defend himself against Keemstar and eight thoughts and oh my God, the egregious offenses that are being put forth upon him by these two, oh man, less than reputable human beings are such bad people and that brings us to present day where now i am unbanned and thank you lord jesus everybody give a big smash the like button subscribe right now eight thoughts of alpha male elite gaming athlete is back baby you yeah i'm back baby oh yeah here's some auto tune kiss my ass jeremy so like did the quartering strike my videos down was he complicit in the videos being taken down it seems very <clears throat> very peculiar that out of all the videos I have on this website of me calling out YouTubers and roasting other YouTubers, this is the video that gets a strike for cyberbullying and harassment. It's just kind of coincidental that the guy that reacts like the most biggest <laughs> on this platform, anytime you talk to him on Twitter or call him out or make fun of him, just coincidentally, the video that calls him out and makes fun of him gets a strike on it as well. So, I don't know. I'm on the impression that he is somehow involved because you know, if you don't know, people with a 300,000 subscriber channel like myself, you can't just flag videos down by having some group of trolls get angry and hate you and go and flag your videos for whatever reason they feel need to. And then that video gets taken down. It doesn't work that way because otherwise tons of channels would just have their videos taken down all the time because the more people you have subscribed to your channel, the more haters are just inevitably going to have that just somehow latch onto that channel that don't like you for whatever reasons, justified or unjustified. And you'd have a bunch of YouTubers constantly just getting strikes and being taken down. So it takes definitely some connections, some finagling, and definitely some know-how in order to take a video down. So either way, it's pretty hypocritical, whether it be his fan base or him himself that are responsible for taking my video down and striking it because the channel is predicated and based upon the opposite of that kind of behavior. People getting butt hurt is what Jeremy likes to expose all the time in all his videos about media and gaming and comics and politics. So it's strange that a guy's channel who's based upon not being a soy boy gets a video roasting him and the exact behavior of a soy boy ensues. I don't know, man. I'm going to leave it as is. I think it's questionable. Personally, myself, that's what I'm assuming. That's my opinion. I guess, you know, if you have an opinion about something on the internet, I guess you're not allowed to put that on the video. And it's 2020, boys, and uh, sticks and stones will definitely break bones and names hurt a whole lot more now. My God, don't make fun of anybody, Eight Thoughts. Uh, you're hurting my feelings. Oh, no. The funniest thing, if before I can go, if, if I can t tap into something here real quick, 
is I love how other people and fans of other YouTubers are the ones coming to the defense of that YouTuber who's a grown man. Like if you look at my Twitter feed, if you look at the comments on videos, it's a bunch of grown adults coming at another YouTuber defending another grown man, a, a, a very well-grown man who is very big and possibly obese. But it's just like, bro, what are you doing? We're out here as fellow grown men. This isn't a kid who can't defend themselves. And these, they're like, they're like white knights for fellow YouTube content creators. Like, bro, get a life, you dweebs. Honestly, everyone out here is just a giant sack of bleeding vaginas. It's ridiculous. Anyways, that's pretty much what's happened. That's the intel. That's the info. Quartering has been exposed as definitely being a beta male soy boy. It's it's very obvious to anyone who's not one of his blind fanboys. And honestly, his fans are some of the dumbest people in the world. Let's just keep it real. So it is what it is. Thanks for watching the video. Let's keep it rocking and rolling. And if you're new here, hey, subscribe. Make sure to hit that like button or don't. Who gives a damn? And last but not least, and most importantly, my friends, stay black. And go with the high cracker team, shake your dip, the baby starts spraying chemtrails down. The dodge troops have to be held as a flat. We fake all the better fix the flows and frogs gay white men. Bring you down.